I have a question for you, and that question is, why are you here? I mean, really, why are you here? What is your purpose on this earth? That's exactly what I want to talk about in today's episode. What's up, guys? Matt Wyke. Wike Fitness. Thank you so much for tuning into another podcast episode. I appreciate all the love, all the feedback. If you're a subscriber on YouTube or on iTunes, if you're listening over on the website, or if you're just listening right from one of our uh, social media pages, I appreciate it so much. Today, I want to talk about, you know, why are you here? I feel like so many people don't have a sense of meaning to their life. Like what what am I supposed to do? I wake up every morning, I go to work, yeah, I eat, I sleep, I go to the bathroom, I take care of my kids. But but what is the real purpose? Why am I here? Like is there a greater good that I'm not seeing? And that's exactly what I want to talk about because so many people it's like groundhog's day. Every day is the same, they go through the same, you know, routines. They never really step out of the box to figure out you know, what What they're passionate about. Why are they waking up every morning? Like, for instance, for me, because, I mean, obviously, I can only speak for myself, but I have a purpose for waking up. And that purpose is to run my business. Now, you might be saying, well, Matt, that's, that's going to work. That's exactly what everybody else is doing. But it's what I'm doing that matters to me. I'm so passionate about helping people, teaching people about health, fitness, exercise, nutrition, supplementation, business, entrepreneurship, you know, how to build not only personally, but professionally as well, because I've gone through the ropes. I've been down the path. I know what, you know, you should be doing and not doing, how to get the results that you desire. So for me, that's why I wake up in the morning. And yes, you know, family is a big part. But for me, like, I can't stop thinking about my next move. What can I do to add value to people's lives? You know, is it another ebook? Is it another audiobook? Is it some type of blog post that I should be putting out? Should I be connecting with different people in the world? People that I could either use as mentors or different companies that I could work with to help improve their productivity, get their employees healthier, living a healthier lifestyle so that they can go to work. They don't take as many sick days. They're actually productive at all hours while they're at work. There's just so many things that go through my head on a daily basis. And I just feel like there's always something more I can do. You know, some people will look at, you know, the things that I've done over my career and, you know, the things that I've accomplished, the awards and and so forth. But for me, it's like, it's great, and while I'm extremely humbled and grateful to have all of those things and to have those experiences, it's it's almost like on to the next thing. What can I do to better myself so I can help people? That's what I want you to think about. I don't care if you're a rocket scientist or you know if if you're just volunteering over at the the food bank and that's kind of like your 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 job. You know, your, your part-time thing. Maybe you don't really have a job. You know, maybe your spouse, uh, you know, so to speak, is the breadwinner. And, and you spend your time at shelters or animal shelters or homeless shelters or, you know, food banks, you know, food kitchens, whatever. That's cool. I love that. Then, you know, dive deep into that. Double down. Figure out what you love, what you're passionate about. You know, because for me, it's like, Anyone who works with me knows that my pricing is ridiculously inexpensive for the value that they're getting. I mean, not only are you getting content that's going to help you increase your traffic, increase your sales, your conversion, help build your brand, but I'm also putting stuff on my site, on my social for free that helps them get extra attention, eyeballs, and traffic to their website, their blog, their business. It's about what can you do in your life to add value to others. Stop thinking, you know, and being so self-centered like, oh, well, you know, what can I do for me or or what has this person done for me lately? 
You know, the biggest disappointment in my life has always been expecting something from others. I've I've quickly learned, you know, not only through my life, but my time owning my own businesses, is that if you expect something from someone, so for instance, let's say somebody contacts me and they want help and I give them a free, you know, workout program. Hey guys, you know, try this out, see what you think, or a free nutrition program. You know, try and follow these steps. You know, here's some guidelines. If if you expect a a thank you back or a good review on, you know, your website or testimonial or on on uh, you know, Google, if they give you a, a good review on Google, you know, if you expect those things and you don't get them, what do you feel? You feel disappointed. You're like, man, like I went out of my way to help this person. But instead of looking for something in return, just appreciate the giving aspect of it, the helping of others. Because when you expect things from others, all you're left with is disappointment. Even if they give you something back, it might not be something that, you know, you were hoping for. I, I mean, maybe you're you're helping somebody to move. And, you know, you kind of expect them to feed you lunch if, if you're going over the, the lunch hours. If you don't get that, what happens? Man, you get so pissed off. You're like, man, this dude, I've been busting my balls carrying dressers and sofas and televisions and desks and all this heavy stuff. Dude can't even give me lunch. Like, you got to stop looking at things in that way where you're expecting them. If you get them, appreciate it. Hey, man, I appreciate lunch. Thank you so much. And, of course, they're going to retaliate and say, dude, it's the least that I can do for, you know, you helping me do X, Y, and Z. But the fact of the matter is, when, when you don't have a purpose and you're walking around expecting things from people, you're going to hate your life. You're just going to live in, you know, disappointment after disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. So what do you want to accomplish with your life? For me, like, I already know that. I started my business because I knew what I wanted to do. And I'm doing it every single day. If you literally go to work and you hate your life, you hate your job, that's your duty and a responsibility to make those changes. Nobody else can do that for you. Okay, so I think that's an important lesson that people need to get ingrained in their brain is that nothing changes without change. <laughs> it, it it sounds so silly and and so simple, but but really that's the bottom line. You can't expect things in your life to change without change taking place. If you hate your job, your life isn't going to change. Your, your, you know, work environment isn't going to change, but if you want it to change, you need to change it. You need to say, I'm leaving this job. I'm not looking back. I'm going to do what, you know, my passion is. And that's what I'm going to do. You are changing because you want to change. You know, it, it's kind of like the, the whole motto, uh, nothing works unless you do. Same principle. I mean... It, it, it just blows my mind the amount of negativity that I hear on a daily basis. You know, a funny story. Yesterday, um, I, you know, my wife needed to take stuff to the, uh, the post office. She needed to mail out a whole bunch of stuff. She's a, a bridesmaid in one of her best friend's weddings. So, you know, the, the twins were crying and I said, hey, look, you know, I'll just go take it over to, to the post office myself. You know, you stay here, uh, you know, feed feed the babies, you know, if need be, and, and I'll handle it. So I ran to the post office, and I'm waiting in line, and this lady, all she did was complain. Complain, complain, complain. No, oh, my, you know, my, my health isn't good, you know, I fell the other day, you know, this happened, that happened, I have to, you know, put my dog down tomorrow, you know, I've had him for 12 years, and you know, it, while I have, you know, sentiment towards that individual and, and I, I feel bad for her situation. I mean, obviously there's nothing you can do about the dog. If the dog is old, okay. You know, the dog needs to get put down, has health issues. Okay. I get that. But the health issues, you know, woe is me, you know, all of this stuff can change. Okay. I don't care how old you are. I mean, this lady said that she was 73. 
Now, obviously, you know, 73, that's <laughs> that's getting up there. You're not a spring chicken anymore. But a lot of the things that that she can control, she's not. Um, you know, just looking at her appearance, she's slightly overweight, which would, you know, would make you assume that her nutrition isn't the greatest. That could be part of her health problems. That could be part of the reason why her, you know, blood sugar is always, you know, out of whack. Why she gets lightheaded, why she gets dizzy, why she feels weird. And, you know, she's she's telling the, the postmaster, I think that's what they call them, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll just call them the, him the postmaster. But, you know, the, the guy that was across the counter, you know, he's listening, he's nodding his head. And, and he said he was like 60 two or something like that and he's like oh you know i guess i have you know that to look forward to in in the next 10 years you know blah 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 and it's just like it's the world is turning into one uh negative newscast if you ever watch the news these days you'll notice that there's never anything positive really said on the news anymore everything is always negative oh how terrible is this this happened how terrible is that that happened but you know nobody wants to talk about the positive that can come from it the the community building you know, whatever the case may be, it, it's, it, I just hate the fact that we go through life just kind of treading water and, and we're waiting for something to happen. We're waiting for that boat to come by and save us from the deep ocean. You know, we're out there in shark infested waters, just waiting to be swallowed up by the waves or, you know, a predator like a shark. And, you know, we're just waiting for something to happen when, you know, if you don't like your situation, dang, man, change it. Nobody's going to come and say, hey, you know what? I think you're having a rough time with your life. Let us let me help you do something. You know, while there are people out there who want to help people, you can't sit back and wait for that to happen. That's like sitting back and saying, you know what? I'm not going to work. I'm going to sit at home and I'm just going to play the lottery every single day. And I'm going to hope that I win the lottery and that I hope I win millions of dollars so that I don't have to work. I mean, what's what's the saying? Uh, wish in one hand, shit in the other, and see which one fills up first. Like that, that's that's the mentality. Like, what do you what do you expect to happen? You know, you you can wish all you want and want all you want and hope all you want, but unless you're actually you know pounding the pavement and making changes in your life, nothing is going to change. So again. I want to circle back to the to the question that I that I answer or, or that I asked you in the beginning. Why are you here? What do you want to accomplish in your life? What is your life goal? You need to answer that. I can't do it for you. Your spouse, your significant other, your best friend, your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandparents neighbor, whoever, cannot do that for you. You need to figure out what makes you tick. What gets you excited? What are you passionate about? What do you want to do for the rest of your life? Only you can answer that. So I hope that, you know, this episode just made you think a little bit and maybe motivated you, hopefully slightly, to take a deeper dive into your life and be like, you know, am I really happy at this area? Am I happy with where I am financially? Am I happy with where I am in my relationship? Am I happy with where I am professionally with my career? If not, make the change. If you're passionate about something, you have to be passionate about about being a parent, passionate about being a husband or a wife, passionate about being a, a, a son or a daughter, passionate about Going to work every day knowing that you have the ability to change lives. Only you can make those changes. So, I want to end with that. I hope, you know, this kind of got the wheels, in, you know, turning and in motion to, to make you think about where you are right now. Where do you want to be? Next year, five years from now, 10 years from now, 50 years from now. I mean, my demographic, you know, those of you listening, you're a younger demographic. I mean, some of you might be saying, oh, you know, hey, I'm 40. You know what? That's that's only like half of your lifetime. I mean, people are living well into their 80s, 90s. People are pushing, you know, 100 plus. It's not like, you know, majority of the population is dying at 50 or 60. 
you know, we're, we're living longer. So it's never too late to make a change. You can't say, I've heard so many people who, who I'm mentoring say, you know what, Matt, I'm, I'm, I'm too old to start a business or I'm too old to, to try and save for retirement or I'm too old to start exercising. What benefits am I going to really get from starting it in my 50s or 60s? And, and literally, I, I want to bang my head against the wall because I'm like, there's never a great time to start. The time to start is now. There is no better time than now to make a change in your life. So I hope something, you know, you know, struck a nerve, you know, you know, struck you as, uh, you know, thought invoking in your own life and that you can take something from this episode and, and apply some change to your own life. But, you know, overall, I just appreciate you guys being here. I mean, every, every Tuesday or Wednesday when I record, I actually look forward to recording. I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, I'm talking directly with you, like we're having a conversation. Obviously, it's kind of like a one-way street where I talk and I don't get to listen at all. But, you know, the nice thing is when you guys provide some feedback and you, you know, comment and you email me, you know, some of you, you know, good friends that are listening, you text me, you call me, you knock on my door and say, hey, uh, you know, I really appreciate what you said. You know, it, it really helped me. I changed this. I did that, whatever the case may be. But, you know, I, I would love it if you guys got something from this that you would share it with other people. My my reach is is slowly growing. You, YouTube is <laughs> probably the worst, just because it's a platform that's for video, and I put audio up. So you know, I'm 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 not following technically the guidelines of what you know YouTubers are looking for. But I'm trying to expand my reach. So if you're listening to this on YouTube or on iTunes and you're subscribed or you're listening to it over on my website, please share the episode. I want to try and get out in front of as many people as I can. Obviously, you know, this is kind of a one-on-one. I'm talking to you, but you is really a mass of people. It's the same thing that I did when, you know, I had my own radio show at a radio station. Yes, it was just me talking to the mic and, and they had a little sticker on the mic. So it was like you were talking to this sticker, but you're really talking to the masses. You know, you're getting your voice, your thoughts your opinions, your knowledge out there in front of hundreds or thousands of people. And that's truly inspiring for me that I get the opportunity to have so many people listening and I want to expand that reach. So anything that you guys can do to help me expand that reach, share my website, share my articles, share my podcast, say, Hey, you know, Jimmy, I listened to this audio piece from Matt Wyke. And I think part of it might be what you are telling me about and could really help you get past this point in your life, your career, whatever the case may be. Or, or hey, Sally, I read this article over on wakefitness.com. Here's a link to it. Check it out. You were telling me about you know how you had some issues with your nutrition and you couldn't find the right plan to follow. And you know Matt seemed to really lay it out in a way that is easy to understand and digest and implement. I think you might you know, get value from it. So you share it. That literally, that means more to me than all of the money in the world, because you guys are appreciating the content that I'm putting out, finding value in it and sharing it with others so that they too can value it. So for that, I thank you guys for being here. And I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. I would love feedback. If there are topics that you want me to cover, feel free to shoot me an email or message me on, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those handles for social media is at Wyke Fitness. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you found something uh, informative and, and insightful in this piece. And hopefully, if you guys are willing, <laughs> come back next week. We'll have another topic to discuss. But until then, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, an amazing weekend. And I hope to hear from you guys over in the comments. And I'll talk to you next week.